I'm Laura Ingram, and this is a special edition of The Ingram Angle, A Week in an Hour. Tonight, we examine the stories that made these past few days from Biden and Kamala abroad to Fauci and the media back home. Plus, we're going to take a look back at the big comebacks of the week, from the cinematic to the political. Raymond Arroyo will explain it, rest assured, in Friday Follies. But first, who said there wasn't news in history made at the G7 in Cornwall? Who said Biden didn't impress the world with strength, vision, and symbolism? Well, at least one Biden did. America's facing a series of real and major challenges, right? We have China's huge military buildup and the crush of humanity entering our country illegally. And our media chooses to focus on whether Jill's kind of teen scene love jacket is really just a Melania Trump diss. And remember, the former first lady wore a jacket of her own in 2018 that drove the left nuts. Listen, it was a, an excellent troll by the first lady to Melania Trump, I think. She is sending a message, and she even said this, America sending a message of love, reunification. I'm glad you brought up the jacket. It is very hard to imagine that that was any sort of coincidence. Stage. Sometimes our clothes speak for us. Well, the print headlines were just as embarrassing. USA Today called Jill's jacket a symbol of unity. Oh, for whom? Teen girls who read Twilight novels? <laughs> and CNN claimed Jill Biden's love blazer sets the tone for the G7 summit. Where's the Barry White music? Now, the only news to really come out of the G7 is that our allies like Biden, as in Joe, more than Trump, because unlike the former president, old Joe, will be submissive and not really require anything of our allies. And of course, he'll totally ignore America's national interest in favor of global concerns. So the entire confab is just a huge waste of time and at times just plain goofy, right down to that awkward walk to the outside platform. <laughs> so which way are we going? We're going here. Come on. Come here. Come here. Okay. Joe, if you come here, Joe, okay. go. Uh, All right. Now you've got to look at that back to the photographer in the middle, uh, just above the guy. Oh, okay. Right He's above the guy. Right. He's the guy. Was Joe confused about where to look there? But don't you love the idiotic elbow bump among all these people who are outside and have already gotten the vaccine? It's all Team Doom has theater at this point. But the real action this week was not with POTUS, but with V-POTUS. Kamala Harris has finally run into the buzzsaw that she's probably been avoiding her entire life. It's called reality, as in having to answer serious questions about a real, real problem, the border crisis, which Biden foisted on her to address, but instead it's just become a mess. Oh, and that rhymes. And by the way, Harris, is showing signs of cracking. This whole thing about the border, we've been to the border. We've been to the border. You haven't been to the border. I, and I haven't been to Europe. And I, I mean, I don't, I don't understand the point that you're making. You will indeed visit the U.S.-Mexico border, and will you do it soon? Yes, I will, and I have before. When are you going to the border, uh, the Vice President? The administration has asked... I'm not finished. <laughs> I've said I'm going to the border. You notice that? She always used that, I'm not finished, let me finish interjection. It's sort of like a punctuation mark of desperation for Kamala. Well, I imagine you were surrounded by a team of folks that helped prepare you for this nomination hearing. I have did had, they, did yes. They, uh, but let me finish if you don't mind. When they're well, instructed. Once Excuse Senator. me, I, I'm asking the questions. And I, I want to add, if, Mr. Vice President, I'm speaking. I have I'm speaking. How did you year? repeal the Trump tax cuts? Uh, Mr. Vice President, I'm speaking. The fact is, everyone is starting to see what Democrat primary voters knew about Kamala Harris back in 2019. She's just not a primetime player. She has no relevant experience, and she's totally in over her head. The president and I also discussed the root causes of migration, the root causes and the acute causes, and, and deal with those. There are many factors at play when we look at migration historically, and currently. The issues that are long-standing, by virtue of the nature of them, are never going to be solved overnight. We have to deal with the complexities of this. Oh my God, it's, it's terrifying. 
Uh, that sort of glib, bromide-laden series of generalities, it may work. You might be able to slide by in the U.S. Senate. But it doesn't work when you're on the world stage and charged with handling serious issues. Now, things have gotten so bad for VP Harris that she even has CNN worried. That was an easy question. That was clearly a question that the vice president was going to get. Perplexing. That answer is perplexing. She dismissed it uh, in a way that was not really responsive, that was not satisfactory. A sign that she has a learning curve in this new job. When she doesn't like a question that she gets, uh, she often deflects in a way that can seem defensive. Yeah, thank. Yet the most significant development of the week is that it looks like the Biden White House is beginning to have a growing case of buyer's remorse about Harris. It's no surprise that the White House was not thrilled by that answer. There are administration officials who were perplexed by how she answered questions that they felt she should have known were coming. Mm -mm, they're leaking about her. It's not a good sign. If the woman gets prickly when asked a simple, obvious question, how the heck is she going to do when she sits across the table from, let's say, her Chinese or Russian counterparts? How's that going to go for America? Oh, OK, but maybe we're all being too hard on Vice President Harris. I mean, the border issue is serious and all, but is it really about life and death? I don't know. You be the judge. My judges are asking for one thing in particular. I sit in front of them, I go, if I could do one thing for you, what would that be? And this is the ask I'm getting. Uh, they go, Tony, we need more body bags. And I'm going, body bags? Why do you need body bags? He goes, My, they go, migrants are, are dying at record numbers, and we don't have body bags to handle the situation. Well, this is just one of the many reasons Harris isn't rushing to visit the border. What's she going to say if she's asked about this? Is this okay with her? And if not, what does she plan to do about it? Last night, Texas Governor Greg Abbott stated his view on what their real motive is. Do you believe this is purposeful on the part of the administration, allowing this many people to come into our country? I feel certain that it is willful, it is pur purposeful, uh, it's, it's wanton disregard uh, for the border laws. The administration here is in a real bind. Sure, the border is a total nightmare and everyone knows it, and it's causing Biden's numbers on immigration to tank. But worse for them politically is the fact that for every challenge facing America, Biden's chosen number two is simply incapable of doing her job at the level it needs to be done. So how is this going to play out? <laughs> Badly, that's how. This is what happens when diversity is valued more than merit and accomplishment. They had to know she wasn't up to the task when they chose her. Remember, this was from the New York Times in November of 2019. That was their title. Hers was one of the worst campaigns in recent memory. I'm kind of paraphrasing the piece. Marked by infighting, it was directionless, and Harris's sister was a meddling opportunist. It seemed like everyone on the staff was miserable. If Kamala Harris belly flops this spectacularly in her first six months as vice president, we all better hope that nothing happens to Joe Biden in the next four years. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.